Hi all, it's Rach from Spiritual and Angelic Guidance. I'm here to do a reading for Pisces and this will be for the 15th to the 21st of March. If you've seen my readings before, welcome back. Thanks for the support. If you haven't, welcome to my page. I hope it resonates. If it does, please don't forget to share, like and subscribe. If it doesn't, don't worry. It's a general reading. It's not going to suit every person out there. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't. It's also, um, don't forget also, I mean, uh, time is fluid and energy is vice versa. For this reading, I'm going to be doing the norm. I'm going to be having uh, one card from the Guardian Angel deck. I'm going to be taking one from the Romance Angels and at least one from the um, Wisdom of the Oracle. And we'll finish with Tarot. I always say one, but we might get a few more. But I try to get one. Okay, Pisces, 15th of the 21st. Tell me about Pisces for the 15th of the 21st. Pisces. Six of Action. So that's the same as the Six of Wands. What a wonderful experience for you. Your project is a total success, bringing awards, promotions, or other recognition for your efforts. Well done. If someone who can help you offers assistance, know that this person is heaven sent and say yes. So this is about victory, success. Um, making progress, having self-confidence. It can also be um, maybe some public recognition for some of you. On the bottom of the deck, the open to success. This is about you maybe having lack of direction. Um, I feel like you're not open to success. You're not wanting to be free from a situation either. There's something you're holding on to. You're not wanting to see the red flags or you're not paying attention to them. You know, take off the uh, rose-coloured glasses. Know you deserve love. You need to let go of any kind of control issues. Um, there might be a lack of trust, lack of chemistry, no attraction. I feel like, yeah, you're definitely not seeing those red flags. And if you are, maybe you're not seeing them or you're not paying attention to them. Pisces. Blessed in reverse. And chop wood. We might, we might start with chopped wood. And that's in reverse. So... It talks about this is a, a sign that you might be devoting too much time to dreaming and talking about your dreams, but you actually need to get out of your house and out of your armchair, that kind of situation. You need to get out to go and make things happen. You can't expect, you know, if you sit at home that, you know, whatever you want is going to come to you, you need to actually get out and about to make it happen. You actually have to do something. So even if it's a small task, you know, start with something little, take one step towards the the situation you know you've got to you've got to make things happen you can't expect that things are just going to come to you and the other one is blessed and this is the one that fell out so this is 22 and this is also in reverse this is all about humility you need to have some humility you didn't gain this by your own desires or actions to be who you need to be you can no longer do what you did in a way you have to hit rock bottom and what is required now is nothing less than total surrender then you'll be blessed I have some humility. All right, let's get some tarot. Financial material changes. I feel like you felt like you were left out in the cold. So you're playing the victim. Um, you were rejected. You went through some sort of loss. Um, but you're letting it go. You're having a new perspective. That's what I feel like it's telling me.
this can be a romantic love, a marriage compatibility, mutual attraction, can be the soulmate card. Um, I feel like you, either I'm going to have to clarify, but it could be you're moving on from a situation that you thought was your person or some that was some romantic love, or you're moving on and then you'll get some romantic love. We'll have to clarify. For the chariot, it's about you taking action, being determined to make a change. May mean you travel as well, um, but pay attention to what the universe is trying to tell you. You have everything inside you to get through a situation. You may feel like you're overwhelmed. You may feel like you're struggling, definitely going through some conflict and defeat. You, somebody is definitely keeping secrets um, as well. The truth will come out. That's the justice card and the karma card. You're not having absolution in a situation right now, but you are going to make a positive movement forward, but also feel like you're widening your knowledge about a situation. It could also be about a person. Maybe you widen your knowledge about a, yeah, about a person. So tell me about the, you playing the victim. Left that in the cold. Somebody who was a narcissist and they could have been giving to other people. It also um, left you hesitant to open your heart again. You need to have some sort of death ending to that situation, as I said. Um, and then I feel like you're just feeling burnt out. You're feeling exhausted. You're feeling like you're stuck. You're feeling like yeah you're contemplating what it is you want and contemplating your life i guess tell me about the two of cups three of wands you're definitely contemplating you want to reap rewards for your efforts and you're making progress making progress to getting what it is you want which is your your soulmate you got the same card you've got to take action and like the card said you've got to get out of your house you can't sit at home and think that the universe is going to bring to you what you want i feel like that's a really important message because you've had it now three times okay so tell me about the chariot five of wands there might be conflict disagreements you go through court you don't know where you stand you're in competition with other people and as i said here you are feeling like some sort of emotional confusion loss regret, uh, loss regret grief feeling abandoned unloved broken marriage sorrow disappointment crying over spilled wine in this situation and as I said, it's left you feeling like you're exhausted and burnt out. Uh, tell me about the spiritual strength and the positive movement forward card. Knight of Wands. Scattered energy, arguments, jealousy, suspicion, frustration. And it was a burden. feel like you realize the truth in a situation you got some clarity you need to stop any self-limiting beliefs about yourself and manifest what you want and maybe you make a fast-paced change maybe someone comes in to communicate with you but I feel like this thing only was going to give you some sort of broken relationship I don't feel like it was actually giving you anything more anyway that is what i have for you pisces i hope it resonates if it does please don't forget to share like and subscribe and i'll catch you with the next reading thanks for watching bye